is high Hey what's up hunters and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm gonna be telling you guys let's just say a new hammer build I just cooked up recently and truthfully I think it's much better than the other one but the other one is still quite strong and I will put the build in the link in the description but before I review my new build and what it's all about a few things I want to quickly say that one, there will be another video coming today of tips and tricks on how to beat Raytheons faster because of the Raytheon event tomorrow. And the other thing that I did made a quite a wrong information in my last video of the Toby Kadachi beat it faster video. And that great Jackers weapons also have water weapons as well. I just want to clarify that very fast. And basically that's all I want to say. I also will be live streaming tonight once I upload these two videos. So I hope you are very excited for more content I'll be uploading. But all that out of the way, let's get too well to the new hammer build I have recently made. And let's just say it is quite strong and there are going to be new pieces compared to the last hammer build. And if you want to know what are the hammers to use, well, check out my first hammer build video that will tell you basically all the best hammers to use for that first set. And those hammers can also be really good for the set as well. So the first piece, we are using the Raphalos helmet for the two attack boost. Even though the two attack boost doesn't really matter, you could obviously use another helmet if you want to. But for this build, I am going full raw attack once more because this is a raw attack build. The chest piece, we are using the Anjanath chest piece for the sole purpose of one specific skill that is new in Monster Hunter now, known as Special Attack. What this skill does is it will increase the damage of your special attack. You know, when you see that orange little icon as you fill it up as you're in a large monster hunt, when you click it, you'll do your special attack and you'll do 10% damage on your special attack. Basically, that's what the skill does. And per rank, it gives you five percent more and that's why we're using the engine f chest piece but if you get these to grade six you will get two ranks of special attack so it's quite strong the arms we are using raytheon as the usual of the lock on and burst even though burst like you have to hit constantly so burst is kind of eh, kind of just there but lock on is our most important because i'm about to tell you well a piece later on the waste we are using the Diablos one and I was gonna get the Anjanath one and I strongly recommend you do use Anjanath waste because it also gives you the third rank of special boost which if you get three ranks from the great six from the chest and you know great six from the waist to get that third rank you'll do 20 percent damage which is absolutely in just nutty and the waist yeah just diablos or if you want to go with the anjanaf one that's anjanaf one is definitely i'm going to go later on if i get the stuff i need to build it of course and then the legs we are going for the diablos legs for slugger 2 now my last hammer build video someone mentioned in my comments that oh like obviously like more stun damage on the hammer and such but these are the only good leg pieces that have two slugger or if you want to make this build to use any weapon you just replace these legs with the Kuliaku for the critical eye and that's kind of my mix set and let's just say this build is so strong your general playstyle is is that you use lock on lock on the head and then you keep hitting the monster until you knock it down with slugger and then once your your special attack is charged up then use your special attack and you'll do 20 percent or 10 percent more damage and let's just say the damage number is really strong like without like critical eye or weakness exploit and such that's quite impressive for this set 
And obviously, of course, the set is not perfect because it has to be grade six. And as I said in my, well, last video, talk about the raw and element situation, you might want to check that out in my channel. But basically, this is kind of the set here. It is quite strong and honestly I think it's slowly becoming my favorite compared to the old set and I think I might use this in probably all my gameplay. So if you guys have enjoyed this video and if you guys find this build very useful hit the like button down below but also hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you don't want to miss any monster Hunter videos live streams or projects I do on this channel. I'm Mad Oz. Happy hunting, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!